I'm rambling because I'm so excited to see you guys. And we've got such a good crew in the, in the chat room today. So, every week before the hug, we give a little sampling of the Dow Buffet. So today's story is in honor of my brother. My brother turned 34 today. My baby brother. About 10 years ago, uh, I was at a party and my brother came to the party. He came straight from a grocery store. And, you know, we're all talking, telling stories, and he was saying, oh, he was just at the grocery store, and he, was, he, he got his change, and he was getting ready to leave. And he realized, he looked at his receipt, and he realized they didn't charge him for, you know, a carton of eggs. And, you know party of guys, they're all drinking beers, and you know, a few people were like, I certainly, like, right on, I hope you just took off, you know, free eggs. Because isn't that always the dream, free eggs? And my brother said, actually, I went back, and I got the person's attention who checked me out, I explained to them what happened, and I, and I paid for the eggs. And everyone's like, oh man, man. And he said, I try, when I'm in situations like that, I try to make my decision as if my future child was there watching me. And I thought that was such an awesome thing. Not to make your choice based on any sort of external rules, any sort of, you know, religious uh, tenets, not according to any sort of potential uh, punishment or consequences to your action, but making the decision based on how you want your legacy to be. Making your choices based on the way you want your future to, to be guided. So now, 10 years later, my brother is a father and his baby will turn one next month. So it is one of my highest joys to get to see my brother's philosophy in practice. To see him living with his child uh, according to his ideals. And also playing because, heck, that's, that's a huge part of it too. So today's sampling from the Dow Buffet is the idea that when faced with crossroads, try to guide those decisions based on how you'd like your legacy to go. <sighs> Make sense? Well, looks like the Hugging Hearts is working very well. Kudos to Spotman for coding us a, a, a way to click and send love. We've got an incredible crowd here. Let's grab ourselves on the shoulders and let's think about all the people that have touched us this week, the people that we've encountered in our worlds, the people that have touched us in our memories, the people that have impacted our decisions and our emotions. And let's imagine that we are not squeezing our toes torso, but we're squeezing theirs. We're enveloping them with love. And then imagine that all the people in the chat room, you're squeezing them. And all the people you've passed in the past week and the people that they've passed, and you're just spreading it along, just shooting your love out all over the world. And then as you're being squeezed, imagine that you are feeling not your arm squeezing you, but the arms of all those people out there. That regardless what you hear on the news, they would far rather hug you than hurt you. And let's just sit for a second in that cosmic embrace, feeling not a separation between one another, but just that we are a part of this one human family. We are all cells of this one body. Let's just feel that love, swirl it around and rocket it back out to one another. Amplify it. On behalf of myself, everyone in the chat room, and Grandpa Caleb, happy Hug Nation! Thank you for joining us. Thanks for feeling the love, spreading the love, amplifying the love. Ugh. We will see you next week and every Tuesday. If you're watching this on the archive, wherever you are, where, just squeeze yourself now. We will feel it. It's cumulative. It lasts. It swirls around. 
It cannot be stopped. Happy Hug Nation. You only live once. Enjoy the color.